Good evening, good evening everyone. The second part of uh, Shavuos, the Shiran Shavuos, Tafshin Pei Gimel. Mm -hmm. Last night we saw that there were two different approaches to Shavuos. Either the approach through the days, Hamishim Yom, that we're counting 50 days, or the approach through the weeks that we're counting seven weeks. And we showed that there were differences in the language of the Psukim whether we on the approach of the approach of the days or the approach of the weeks. And that really makes no sense because both of them are taking us to the same Yantev. How can this Yantev be different whether you counted the days, whether you counted the weeks? Yes, you can take this to the Machlekes. I took it down of the, of the Rishonim. If counting days is a mitzvah, and counting weeks is another mitzvah, it's one mitzvah. Anyway, so, um, and we saw that the day showed us one midah, and the midah that we learned last night is seeking. Not be afraid to seek. Once you seek, automatically, you put the Merkava, not the lower one, the upper one, in motion, and the Shechina comes to your help. There's a lot of things we cannot do ourselves, and basically everything we can do, unless from Shemaim they come and help us. However, when you put your rots on, when you put your will, and you really seek something with all your being, and you're trying to get somewhere, automatically the, 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 the Malachim of the, the, the Merkava, we call them the Malache Argaman. Argaman is the red, you know, in the in the Mishkan, Aleph for Uriel, Gimel for Gabriel, uh, Ar, no, Resh for Raphael, Gimel for Gabriel, Mem for Michal, and, and Nun is when Uriel, it depends, when Bnei Israel do the Ratzai Hashem, so the leader is Malach Uriel, from the word Oyer. When Chaz Vesham the Bnei Israel are not doing Ritzayin Hashem, then the leader is Malach Nuriel, the last one, which is the fire. You know, uh, not the air, which is enjoyable, but Chaz the fire, the fire we don't want to have. Now, we're going to address the problem, the, the other aspect, through a different question. So we also introduced the question yesterday that we see Chazal stubbornly call Shavuos Atzeres. They would not call it a different name. We call it Shavuos by the weeks, if you realize. Nobody calls them by the days. But Chazal, do you know how many times Chazal call Shavuos? We said it last night, call Shavuos. Um, at Ceres, 24 times. Which is the name in the Shechina? Aleph, Dalet, Nun, Yud. How many different, so you have four letters. So you have a one time two, one third, time three. So you have 24 possibilities in order to write this. So it's called a tzirufim. How many different ways you can combine those letters? It's 24 different times, 24 different ways. So since you have 24 different ways, look, in, interestingly, Chazal call, how many sfarim, if you can't count all the Tanakh with the Treyasar and everything, how many sfarim do you have in the Torah Shebikhtar? 24. 
how many kishutim, how many uh, kishut is a makeup, but it's not considered a makeup. It, not decorations. It's a uh, uh, adornations. You, we put on the kala in the night of Lel Shavuos that we remain up till the moment of Ayele Sashachar, which is before the time of, of Aloy Sashachar. So it's about 20 minutes before Aloy Sashachar. It's called Ayele Sashachar. Ayele Sashachar, the Ari Kodesh in Shara Kavanis, brings down, this is the time to go in the Tvila. Why? Because the Malchus, before going to the upper world, to the Bina, goes to the Tvila at that time. Not going to go deep in this to explain you things, but I'm going to give you something that's going to be so meaningful that I can almost pretty much assure you that you're going to come out from Shavuos cleaner than you come out on Yom Kippur. And, and, and that's the part. And we're going to see that in depth. So we have Chazal hinting. So every book of the Torah is one of the Tzirukim, one of the combination of the name Aleph, Dalet, Nun, Yud. Why? Because we are adorning the Shechina during our learning with the Tikkun. That's why it says the Tikkun we arrange. What do we arrange? We reset, we arrange the Shechina so the Shechina could be adorned like a color, like a, the Malkart Doisha that can go into the Chupa with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. When HaKadosh Baruch Hu sees her in the morning, says that he HaKadosh brings that, brings brought down in the Zoya, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, who prepared you? And she says, so and so and so. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, invite them. In other words, I'm giving you a head start. Yes, you have nothing to do. You don't even have to, to club your fingers. Just do your stuff and you are in the Bina. Oila Matera, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave it to us. There's nothing we've done. You know, to deserve it, Akadosh Baruch who really gave us the Torah for free. You'll get it, you're going to go on Shavuos. However, your portion of the Torah will be up to the efforts you've put in on Shavuos. In other words, your understanding of the Torah this whole entire year will depend on the efforts you have done on Shavuos. That's why one of the reasons at Ceres here stops. So in other words, we started Pesach with the Bina. So I'm taking back the Ramban here. So we started taking Pesach in the Bina all the way up. We went down for Sphere Sarimer. We counted the weeks and the days and the weeks. We going up the ladder till the 50th. We are in the Bina. Did great. You deserve to be there. You counted properly. You had intention. Great. <clears throat> That's a reward to be there. Why? Because to a certain level, you're also going to deserve Kapara Sabayimus. Now, will you deserve a Chelek in the Torah? Yes or no, that depends on what you're going to do and how you're going to behave, you know, during. First of all, please remember the Gemara in Chulin. Because sometimes I talk and I don't realize that people can hear and they may not be in the situation of, of, of not being able to do this. A person cannot move his little finger if they didn't decide up there. In other words, when HaKadosh Baruch Hu puts us in a situation that we cannot do it, we should not do it. We have to read the signs. We have to stop being pushers. We have to, not to calm down and contemplate. 
HaKadosh Baruch Hu is giving us signs here. A person is not feeling well. well. A person he says, how can I lose? You don't lose nothing. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says you don't need it. Just the fact that you want to do it and, 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 and basically you have Agmas Nefesh that you cannot do it. You have done it. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Mitzaref Machshav Alemaisev. So remember, don't try to be, you know, we're not Hezbollahs or, 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 or anything close to uh, this type of uh, menta uh, mentality. <laughs> we read signs. HaKadosh Baruch Hu uses our body to, gi to give us signs what we can do and what we cannot do. What we like, the same type of foods. Why do you like this food and not this food? Because the tikkun you have to do in your life is in these foods, according to Yaneshama. It's not like, oh, it's in the nature. I don't like this and I like this. It's got nothing to do with all this. This is really shtusim. That said, so when a person does the effort, who learn at night to do the tikkun. I'm more makpid on the tikkun than on anything else. I used to be also on the other side of the fence. And oh, young me, that so many years passed by. You know, I was learning other things and I did not understand the power of the mouth, the power of saying words, the pay, which as soon as I move my mouth, I know right away the shina is starting to get into motion. Because pay is shina. When I need something, I just need to open my mouth. But what at the same time, I need to know in my head that once I open my mouth, I put the, my mouth represents the shina. My lasha and my, my tongue represents the yesoid. So automatically, you request from the Yesoi to give what I want to the Shekhinah and in turn the Shekhinah to give it to me. So once we read those forum, that right away, instead of doing what we do the whole year, open our mouth, demand for the Shekhinah to provide, this time we will take our words and provide up. What's the difference? And then we're going to go into the share after this introduction. The difference is like this. Some people are going to be grateful to deserve to be in the Bina. But very few of them will be in the Kesser. We were raving about Purim, this is the highest place. And like Ba'emer, the Heara, this is the highest place we can be from all the regalim, which is true. However, however, there is a way, there is a little path on Shavuos that we can be invited because then it's like Moshe Rabbeinu Moshe Rabbeinu, Bayar Moshe El Ha Eloikim. Moshe could only go up to the Shechina. Vayikra Elov Hashem. I'm, I'm translating, basically, it's not, I'm not saying anything from my own. It's all in the Zayar, in Pashas Yitro, written clothes. And it says then, Akadosh Bochu asked him, brought him up to the upper world. A human, a person, that's our interface, the Shechina. We can go. Further than that, but we can deserve to be, you know, to go higher. But the Shechina will take us, or Hakadosh Baruch Hu will call us and pick up. So here on Shavuos, depending on the night, the Ariya Kodesh says it's very, very grave to talk, especially Dvarim Betelim and Kol Sheken Schoik and Leitzanus on 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 the night of Shavuos. It's better to go to sleep. If someone has this in mind and he knows he cannot do it, if someone thinks he's going to have to go to the coffee room because he's tired and he's going to have to try to pass the time, he should go to sleep. Alpika Bala, he should go to sleep. 
Because what he's going to do is going to be much worse than if he had gone to sleep. At least if he goes to sleep, he's neutral. And then in the morning, if he can get, get up early, say if you heal him before davening, great, that's all. But if he can handle himself for, for one night and learn the Kav Dalet Sfarim, the 24th time Chazal says at Ceres, then when comes the, the daybreak, is all the way up. So everybody stays in the Yesod of the, of the so in the, in the ninth Midah of the Bina. Because that's the place where the Neshamis of Ben Israel come. We cannot go higher, basically, uh, during our lifetime as we're going to go, you know, after after we pass. So everybody is in the Yesod of Abina. And according to therefore, that person, exactly like the Shechina, it happens in Musaf in Shabbos. Start going up, 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 up. Bina of the Bina. Keser of the Bina. Zzz. Start coming out, going up, Keser Elyon. And then the person is there with HaKadosh Baruch Hu under the chupa with the Kala, and we are there to rejoice the Kala. One experience. Now, do you think this is what is hinted in the words of the psukim with the differences. Do you think that's what Chazal are hinting us with this word Atzeres? That would be nice to see this in the words, right? So let's do it. The Zaya Kaddish says, Hold on to your seat. This is not the, 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 the standard of Zaira Kaddish. There is a tzibui. There is a mitzvah. There's an order from HaKadosh Baruch Hu that after counting those 49 days, we are Sisa Chag Shabuas L'Hashem You have to do what? Chag Shabuas. Does it say Chaga Pesach, Chaga Sukes? Yeah, Chaga Sukes, uh, yeah, it says. But 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 interestingly, we have changed the language now. Now it has a name in the Pasuk itself. And the Zer brings it down. Chag Shavuos. There's no Yami Marol mentioned. Chag Shavuos for who? Lashem Eloikecha. Okay, with my introduction, you can already have, to. you can already envision, you know, that Chag Shavuos is... Indeed, there's more than one Shavuos. There's going to be, it's like, it's like going in, in, in a big, big uh, hotel and you have several lifts, elevators going up. Some go, it like the buildings in New York. So, so you have some going up to the 12th floor, some starting from the 12th to the 24th, some from the 24th to the whatever. And, uh, and uh, this is what it is. So we're going to see how it's staggered and where they start and where they finish, you know. And then you can decide for yourself and you're going to know exactly the way. Which way do I take to go where I want to go for this Shavuos? I didn't know before, but today I know. So the Zer Asev Asah Chak Shavuos Lashem Eloikecha. Hashem Eloikecha is always masculine Hashem, feminine Eloikecha. It's always Kutcha Berichu When they're together, it's called Hashem Eloikecha. Just for you to know. The reason being, because Bnei Israel have counted already 50 days, so they deserve and to, to um, which are the, the seven weeks, they deserve already 
to be on a high place. And in that place, they're going to bring a carbon. It's called the Mincha Chadasha, the new Mincha. It's a Mincha made out of wheat. A flower of wheat. And the Zoya says, at this point, this when this Mincha is offered, the Oimer actually, he says, when the Oimer is offered, in annihilate the Yetzer Hara to a little bit. And who's that Yetzer Hara? He says, Eshe Zenunim, the Malachamaves, the wife of the Sodom. She runs away. Basically, the Zoya says the whole process starts at the beginning, but it finishes during Sukkot when we bring the Atzeres. It stops there. Now, we having a similar explanation, we started a process with offering in the Beis Amikdash the Oimer, the, 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 the Mincha from Bali. And we're going to end up that process, interesting process of with the offering of a Mincha of wheat. And then it stops. Then there's no more, you know, upper elevations. And the, when is that day? That day is on Shavuos. When is that? So the process goes like this. As we start, the day breaks when the Bina, you know, inside, the, um, obviously the night before already. Remember, Regal, it's a Regal that's starting. Ab Kasa. Yudke Vavke of Chesed, of the Chochma, the highest one, Keye, the highest one in the Bina. Aleph, Hey, Hey, Yud, Yud Vav, Dalet, Hey, Yud, the top one, Venake. So automatically, there's a certain level of Kapara that we get right away into entering the, the, the Regal. So the Kavana to have in Myrib is what we said yesterday, Ab Kasa. Chesed, so I, I'll just review with you the, uh, later this. Um, in the morning, now we're starting a new process. So in the morning, we're starting in the lowest part. So it's the night. We learned, we were, we worked. We worked hard to prepare the Kala, the Shekhinah, to elevate her, to be ready and, and, and beautified for the Chupa that's going to happen between HaKadosh Bochu and the Kala. At the moment of Matan Torah, so we the the Shekhinah is going to go in Shachris already above the Yisro. It's going to move to the Tiferes. Then we're going to go Kriya Satera. We're going to read the 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 the, the Aseres Adibrois. It's going to start moving. We're going to go after that to uh, to uh, Musaf. Still high to Shmoyin Esrei. It's going to move to the Chochma. Then we're going to go to Chazar Asashatz of Mosad. Then bling, 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 bling. Everything happens. Going up to the Keser where the Chupa is awaiting, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is awaiting the Kala. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu, during the Gdusha of Musa of Shavuos is when everything happens. At that time, the person can be so clean that he won't even feel, Yom Kippur, he will know, Yom Kippur will pass over him without having any feeling. Why? Because he has no chatan. He has nothing. You know, Chet has different depth. And sometimes, HaKadosh Baruch Hu takes off a layer. And a, it's like a cake. And a layer. And a layer. And a layer. And a layer. Because we've been redo, doing and redoing the same the same Chatoim over and over. Because we don't know the Chatoim. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu shaved them off. Shaved on Shavuos. It's Pesach cleaning. It's the whole thing. Nothing left. You are a new birya. The same way we bring mincha chadasha. Why? By Omer, you call it Omer. 
on Suk on Shavuos, you could call it because since the one you know across the other, you can call it Minchas Alechem, Minchas Shnalechem, Minchas Chitim, you know, Mincha Chadasha, a new one. So why don't you call the Oymer the, the old one? What's new? What's old? No, Chadasha, you know why? Because at that time, everything is new. When I say new, is new as a baby that was born. That's how new it is. Now, you understand with this already that when we say the word chatos, even though I would like to dig in a little bit into that word, because I'm going to show exactly what's hiding behind that word, that word can only apply in a place. So what happens, say here, izim echad lechatos? Se the Seir we saw yesterday was. Let's go inside the process. Why should I do it one time? So. Okay, now I can see. Uh, we had this in the process. Or I have it right here. I'm, I'll put it in. Vasisem seir izim echad lechatos. I told you yesterday what's hiding. Why a seir? I told you it's, it represents Esau, so it means it represents his malach also, which is the the satan, the sam, because. He received Har Seir, and, and he was Seir. He was also, when he was born, he was called Seir. This is equal to 580. This is the biggest Avoida we do. We don't realize that when we wear the tefillin every day, we are saved from exactly this. We think, no, we're doing a mitzvah to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. There's nothing more wrong than this. Look at this. Are you going to say, oh, the men do it? No, the woman too. I just changed the letter order. Say, ah, when a woman covers her hair, she has she she reaches the level of a man wearing Kisra de Malka, the, 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 the crown of the king. It's just different path HaKadosh Boko created. We don't, a woman is definitely not less than a man. And if so, she has the same level. I mean, she comes from the school. You have two great schools that came by the Bnei Israel, Bes Hillel and Bes Shammai. Bes Hillel is more than men, come from Chesed. So it's in the era pre-Meshiach, he leads. Bes Shammai, Halacha was not passing like him, only till Meshiach. But after Meshiach, all Halachas no longer follow Bes Hillel. But only Beshamai. And so the woman is going to be the Ateris Vala, the, the, the crown on the head of her husband. That's how things are working. So, my good friends, don't take too much advantage of your position today because you don't know the table will turn very soon. Mashiach is at the door. So, so we have the feeling to protect us from Sayer. Who is this Sayer? Sam and the lily. Here we go again. So what do we do? So once a person has seen part of the some nitsoitsois fell into by these people, the citra, what we call the citra achara. And we trade him. So we give him they love the seir. For them, this is the most appetizing. They cannot resist that. That's why the Seir La Azazel was sent. 
and and they would release everything the Bnei Israel have have lost on that year. So we give him part, and he, in, in in turn, in return, they're releasing whatever nitzoitzos they have taken from the Bnei Israel at that time. That's great, right? That's a good trade. So why not here? Just give him a, it's only the blood of a, of a, what do you call them? I was going to call him a ghost, uh, a goat. So, so what is that? So you should have said, but here, no, you have Kapara without going through this process. What happened? The truth is, let me, let me break it down for you. If you take this word like this, sorry, and you're going to realize that sometimes, I think it's misunderstood, the whole union of Chathos. Chathos equals 418. Equals Slicha Kapara. That's what he brings. A person has sinned. He needs slicha because he has done two things. First thing he has done is he did not listen to Akadosh Baruch Hu. So he needs forgiveness from Akadosh Baruch Hu. The second thing is he has taken part of the Gdusha and pushed it down the cliff to the Sitra Akra. And for this, he needs to recuperate it. So these two things are accomplished with the Chathas. The proof. The muzzle of the Bnei Yisrael, the higher muzzle of the Bnei Yisrael, is called Noitzer Chesed. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, when there's a need by the Bnei Yisrael and there's no Chasadim available, because of the mitzvahs or because of the conduct or whatever, automatically HaKadosh Baruch Hu creates a chesed. When HaKadosh Baruch Hu enables a person to have slicha and kapar through chatos, it comes from noitzer chesed. Chatos equals noitzer chesed. It was one of the chasadim, tremendous chasadim. So now you would turn the table on me and say, hey, in that case, the second pasuk by Shavuos so now we are in the days. Here we're in Shavuos. So he should have said here also Chatas because there's nothing uh, pejorative about this. There's nothing wrong. Um, if we go a, a tiny bit deeper and we say, okay, maybe the Pasuk has a different meaning because he attached me an adverb here. So we're going to take fine Le Chatas. See, as the Pasuk wrote it in the same order. Equals 448. To show you that what I gave you before, it's only the outer crust of the, the Kapara. But if someone truly means doing tshuva through bringing a korban or through reading the Mishnah of Chatas, this is what happens. Seven times, Yudke Vavke, Ke Ye, Aleph He Vav He. I'll give you a better one. Seven times, Adam, Chava. I'll explain myself. Chachma, the name in the Chachma, name in the Bina, name in the Das, with which HaKadosh Baruch Hu created Shamaim Baretz. S, Aleph, Ha Shamaim, Hey, V, S, Vav, Ha Aretz, Hey. So it is in the Rashi Tevis of the Pasuk. Everything was done by Chochma, with Das. What do you do? Seven times, you are basically 
cleaning up all the seven lower meters in which, so you're forcing the upper lights to come and shine down. There's two ways to clean, you know, your house for Pesach. You basically build a brand new house. It's a lot of work, but your house is crumbling. Is it? You can't patch it anymore. There's no such a thing. So you need to destroy it and rebuild it. Or someone can come and basically drop a house fully built on your lawn. You know, not prefab. I'm not talking. I'm talking about a house like the, the Beis Amigdash uh, Shlishi that comes in fire descending from the sky to the eye of every nation, taking its time, standing this structure in the air. Our eye should, should see that. So once you do, you bring the chattas, so the upper midas come, the spheres come, and, and there's nothing like an image. Okay, you're forcing the, so usually we go work like this, we go a little bit toiling, how am I cleaning the tifer, am I cleaning the gbur, am I cleaning the chesed? Here, you do something, and because you have a tshuva, you're forcing, okay, it's missing the das here, you see the dalet, chachma bina das, this dalet represents the dalet of the tefillin, where the das is. Here they are, these three, going to take the light and shine inside each one of them. Automatically, any dust, any old, any, anything, it's, min, it's hadasha. You renewed everything. You are exactly as if nothing has ever happened before. In other words, we can find something wrong with the chattas by it only Good reason to, uh, in a, why Adam and Chava, because Adam and Chava could have been saved by bringing a chattas also. That's the power of these names. That, that even Adam and Chava, had they used that technique of tshuva and through bringing a chattas, HaKadosh Baruch would have forgiven them. The, now, you, you're going to see many times, it, it says always, Seir Izim Echad. So we know what we're doing with Seir. We're going to try to trade with the other side. So once you take Seir Izim Echad, this equals 720. Equals 10 times Chesed. Complete chesed. Once you bring the seir izim echad, automatically you trigger the upper midas, which are complete chesed. There's no din, there's no nothing. Only chasadim. This equals, this is what we say in the tefillah every day. Yish tabach. We think, HaKadosh Baruch when we say yish tabach, we need to have in mind that we are thanking HaKadosh Baruch Hu for the complete chasadim that he does for us. If we don't say thank you, how is it going to keep on going? Ishtabach is the very word that we recognize that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is doing complete chesed and we, sometimes we may not see it, <clears throat> but HaKadosh Baruch Hu is doing complete chesed with us. And that will renew your feelings when you say Yishtabach. You're going to pause. Yishtabach, it's 720. I'm saying 10 times chesed. All chesed, all the midas of chesed are here. There's no din. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is giving me everything I want, and I need to thank him for that. So... We finished analyzing this pasuk. Now let's see. See, Saint Ezimecha that is the same thing as here. So now we're gonna start. We only have these two words that we say. Bashavu. It doesn't say chatas. I'm sorry, but uh, I had when I was writing that vort, 
it took me a very long time to move from this because I said, you know what? You should say lechatas. There's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing bad. Slicha, kapara, noitze, chesed. Seven times the, 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 the Seamus, I mean, can he get all the seven midas of, of, of the chokma, the bina, and the das? What's wrong with that? So I figured, you know something? Yes, you're in the bina. Yes, it's great. So you're already in a great place. That's why it says the chatas. Even though you counted 50 the days, you're in a great place. No denying it. You are in the Yesoid of the Bina. You are in the Olam Haba, Elyon. You, you, you are great. No question. But now you will have this. Lechaper Aleichem equals 500. Equals two times Ner. Ner by itself is Shemes. Uh, 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 of tremendous shameless of uh, the Kavana of, of Ner Hanukkah is here. I don't want to go into the the shameless of the Ner. I think I spoke about it on Hanukkah already. I want to remain simple because I would like to show you the path. So two times Ner, great. I say every morning, Abaye Hava Mesada Seda Maracha, Mishmeda Bashaul, Marcha Gedilo, Kedemes Makashne Shaketeres, I said the Mishnah of the Maracha. And they I pay attention that the Koyen was first sliding two nearest. Then he was spreading the blood of the tummy. Then he was coming back for the five, for the next five. So I figured. Since we are in the Pasuk of Shavuos, since of the Shavuos, this is when the person is, is going to say the Keser Elyoin, is that the moment and the path when HaKadosh Bochu is calling the person? So Because this is in Musaf. This Pasuk is in Musaf. So is that the moment? Yes, it says in Shara Kavanas, but it doesn't point, pinpoint the moment. It doesn't tell me where. It tells me the general idea. But here I have soaking with differences that I know are pointing in that direction. So at, at that point, it says, You're going to want to become Kaddish. You're going to have to start on the path. And then you will become <clears throat> Kaddish. <clears throat> because I know the Gdusha, the, the, the Gdusha required to be in the Bina is definitely not the Gdusha require, required to be in the Kesar Elyon. It's a different level. The same way the Koyhanim have different laws of Dusha, which are much more, more stringent than the Bnei Israel, the foods and everything. So they're very careful about everything. In, in the same way, when a person is going to be elevated, so I was fighting, I said, I have to see a path of Dusha here. It says, his Kadishtam, I took off the vow. He's Kaddish. I think I wrote it the right way. Equals 1,250 exactly. One thousand two hundred and fifty equals, which is should have said five. Five times near. Now, all of a sudden, we have the Menoira Hatehoira in front of us. We have the Lamnatseyach with the seven branches of the Lamnatseyach, which go on the face and protect the person because 
on the Tzelem Eloikim, when the Nefesh of the Goyim, when the bad spirits are seeing a face with Lamnatseyach, which, which is the Mizmor that David HaMelech had on his shield, the Magen David, and he was going to his enemies, despite how strong they were, they were trembling. Not trembling because David Amelech was, uh, he was not going to the gym five times a day and, and, and training with the sword games or whatever. They were, they were trembling because the names of Hashem were here. The, the Kedusha was here. Lechaper Aleichem. Why doesn't say Chatos? No, there's nothing wrong in Chatos. You're right. But there's a Midah above. And this midah above is lechaper aleichem, which brings you to the gedusha of the menorah, and enables you to be with Hakadosh Baruch Hu at the time. So at that moment, there's no need for chatas. Why? Because we're not sharing anything with the with the other side. They cannot be around. You in the keser elyon. Even if you would like to take some, some part of the carbon and give it to them, do you know where they're hiding at that time? When the cases start shining, they're hiding in the eighth level of the Gehenna. And they can't get out of there because anything of that light touching them, it's so, it's so Kaddish, they disintegrate. You think it's a sci-fi movie. They took it from us. They cannot get out. So there's no reason to call it chatas. So it's not because there's something bad about chatas. It's because you're on a higher level. So now we see that Shavuos is, 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 um, is giving us the level of someone going above and beyond the Bina He's invited by HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the same way Moshe Rabbeinu was invited in the Keser Elion, that person is invited. So we said from this Pasuk, Mincha uh, Chadasha Lashem, a new Mincha, it's very interesting uh, language. And I told you the person is totally brand new. This equals to 476 equals seven times Chaim. Through all the Midas, Chesed Yibur Chaim, Vura Chaim, you will have power, you will have Chasadim, you will have Bracha, you will have Shefa, you put life, you put everything into motion. No, nothing is curved, nothing is broken, no backache, no nothing. You can go in everything you're doing, you're going to have a tremendous atzlacha. So the, the last exercise is to put this into the words of the first possible. Remember, we mentioned that, that Hamishim here Remind me the sphere. Uh, so, for one of the first questions we had, Hamishim is missing a youth. You know already by now. Everything that Tara plays with orthograph, we've been learning together quite for a while already. So we know that we have a gematria. You, you, you look, I was reading in where? Oh, in the Shere uh, uh, I was learning uh, today um, at the end of the first peric of, uh, of Megillus Rus in the Shere Shishai from Shlomo El Kabetz, Zichus Yagen Aleinu. He was saying that interestingly, an uh, interesting lashan. Since the lashan of the of the pasuk is sasum, it it's totally closed up. It, it, it's unexplainable. We must go to gematrius. That's exactly his lashan. I said, "Whoa, I'm not the only one." Four o eight equal zeis. The name we give always to the malchus. 
So Hamishim is very good. It's great. It's the Mishkan. We have Bemidbar Sinai, Be'oi Hel Moyed. So you one of those people of the Oi Hel Moyed, you Bal Chesed, Gibinus Chasadim, you know, you, you're going, that's your path in life. That's great because you're supporting the Shrim. On the other hand, he didn't put the efforts of the other guys. They went through difficult time. They had to sit down on a chair. They didn't have that moment to go buy a drink here and buy a drink that you, you're outside and everything. So in other ways, even though you're doing a mitzvah, but your mitzvah are limited to the Shekhinah. On Shavuos, you will be limited to come up to the to accompany the, the, the Shekhinah all the way to the Yesoid of the Bina. The Oilam Haba Elyon stuck there. Now you want to be able to be amongst those that are going to move up, deserve to be called by HaKadosh Baruch Hu, hey, so and so, come up for helping the, 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 the Shekhinah. So, if you take the unification, the lower one, so we have Shema Yisrael Hashem Eloikenu Hashem Echad, is Kuchabarichu, is the male side, and the female side is Baruch Shem Kevoid Malchusoi Le'oilam Boy. So, if you take the first letters, Baruch Shem. Equal also the same thing. You in the Shekhinah, there's no question about it. You have, it's always like this. It's male, female. Everything works like this in Shemayim. Atsilus is male. Beria, Yetzira, Asiya, female. When a person didn't raise himself to the Atsilus, He's considered holding in the worlds, the feminine worlds. He didn't express his full strength. He's not yet a man. He's not yet under the name Adam. He is in holding in Beria Yetzira Asiya. It's Alma de Nukva. There's Alma de Chura. It's the Atsilos, the, the male worlds, and the, the female worlds are these worlds. Now, on the other hand, if the person is putting the efforts, he's learning that night and not talking, not talking. Otherwise, go to bed. You're doing better. You'll dive in better in the morning. You'll do, you'll do better for yourself. So we said in the passage here, The first one with his mitzvahs, with his action, what is he doing? Is only working on the tikkun of the shechina. When you're doing the shavuos, what are you doing? You're working on unifying. It's a different work. It's the same yamter. You are in the same bina, but you're still active. The other one is passive. You, it's yesoid malchus. You put in Kutcha Berichu and the Shechina together under the Chu. And why Chazal, according it, Atzeres? Because Atzeres equals 760 and hint us here, Kanfei Nishari. 
What did he say at the time of the Geula? What's going to happen? We're going to go on the wings of eagles, right? Who are these eagles that are going to carry us? Dana Nekavid. Because Dana Nekavid come, so you have the lower Dana Nekavid from the Shekhinah, and you have the upper ones from the from the Bina. However, whenever the Bina comes out, so when the Shekhinah comes out, the enemies can still be around and everything. They don't run away, but you are protected. So it's a one-way solution. It doesn't remove the enemies from around it, but it protects you. They cannot access you. It's like being in a fortress behind walls. The army is besieging you, but you have food, you have... Uh, Water, you don't, you're not in danger, so you're protected behind your walls. However, when the bina comes out, you are protected, you are in a tremendous, joyful, peaceful, you know, the nish, in a shamanical world. With, with there's no more limitation, you see the soydas of the terror with your own eyes. Your neshama is starting having a joy that there's no tomorrow. And there's no one out there neither. Because no one can approach the Gdusha of the Bina. At Ceres, Fazal tell us a hint here. Why don't we want to call it Kanfei Nesharim? Because this is how you deserve the Geula. What do you mean? The whole year we're trying to... No. Again. Atzeres brings Kanfei Nesharim. Atzeres will trigger the Geula that the Bina itself will come and deliver. Remember the Bina is Oilam HaToyra. Oilam HaToyra Ve'en Ben Chorin Elami Shoisek Batoyra. So automatically even the Eved cannot remain Eved even if he wanted. So, meaning there is no possibilities of limitations even if the person wants. All limitations disappear when the Bina come out. How do we do it with that service? How? We shavu us. Oh, there's Hamishim Yom. Yeah, Hamishim Yom, you're a great guy. But if you want to be Zoycher to the Kanfe Nesharim, you have to raise yourself a little bit more. How? Say the Tikkun at night. Don't talk. Go to the Mikveh 20 minutes before Alaysa Shachar. Because you know and you have in Kavana that that you the, the Shechina, the, you're taking the, 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 um, your table at the same time and with the Shechina. And at that moment, the Shechina would start its elevation. And you shall be Zoyche to the same elevation. Now you understand why all the valves are missing? In this Pasha, all the Shavuos, somewhere written without any vav. Let me give you one more. So... You see this one? It's written without any vav. This equals 766. This equals to tshuva meyahava. When you do tshuva meyahava, this is where you get Shavuos without a vow. So yes, it's great to go with Shuva in the heart into 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 um, into Shavuos and so forth. But this is where it reaches in the bina at the bottom. 
Veshavta ad Hashem Eloikecha. Where is who is that Hashem Eloikecha? It's the Bina. That's how you're reaching it. Okay, the oil of Maslicha, the oil of Matshuva, the oil of what you want is right there. Oil of Haba Elyoin. But Tzadikim, you're Tzadik, you reached it. But now, And you see that here equals Kanfei Nisharim Kosovo. Meaning that Shuvah Mi Yahava, when, when Bnei Yisrael do Shuvah Mi Yahava, they deserve the attaching. The Vav is always the connection. Vav Achibur. It's connecting himself to Kanfei Nisharim. But once you do the second one, Shavuos, with the Vav. Seven seventy two. Now you have Kanfe Nisharim plus two valves. What do you think these valves are? This is called the Vave for Amudi. Prodan in Echesekatera in, in, in Yeridea that some of the of the safer, the suffering start the, the the every amud with the vav. Why? Because it's vave ha'amudim. Two these two vavs make everything stand up. So you already with shavuos because you've done it that way, and because of what you prepared the night before, you're already in shavuos with the vav. Now you have vave or amudim. What is Vave Amudim? You're going up. This is your ladder. This is your path to the Keser Ha'elyain. And, and ha it's written. Uh, oh, yeah. I was not going to forget to give you that one. Sorry. And I'm finishing on this because it said the zero and it says here, Chag Shavuos. Equals 786. Now that it is a Chag. Equal Keser Elyoin. When is it a Chag? Yeah. You, you can enjoy it when you finish your work, when you reached it. This is the Chag Shavuos. This is what we're aiming for. This is where we have all the solutions. This is where no one's left behind. And not only for, for you and your family, you bringing Bracha, Revacha, Hatzlacha, and all the brachas that you bring for Am Yisrael. A person that's able to raise himself is a tzaddik yesoid oilam. The oilam stands on him. What he means? If he stands on me, I should be able to feed him too. Yes, you can. With Yuzachus, you can do for everybody. Yeah, he wrote saying that we're working diligently on Shavuos. We know now where we're going. We have a path. We know what this Atzeres stands for. We know what, what Shavuos without a Vav, what, what Hamishim Yom stands for. And we know how to get there. But we know that it's not like every Yantav that we have to just... We were asking at the beginning, this Yantav has no character. You know, what kind of action I have to take in? What are you talking about? Now, we have tremendous work preparing the Shechina the next day for... The Zivug HaKadosh, to bring her into the Chupa with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and hopefully deserve to be invited to the Chupa. Baruch Adrinoi Le'olam Amen Ve'Amen. See you in Yerushalayim Abenuya after um, Shavuos. Maybe I'll have an itch to, to, to give you, uh, to give a shiro, to record a shiro. Uh, I already have a very tremendous itch about it, um, about the whole story. I love this story. The Nachash, Adam and Chava. And we're going to have them again in Shavuos. But this time, with David, Bathsheba, and 
Uriah. And really, as much as the roles were clear when you had Yaakov, Esau, and Rivka, or you had Avram, Sarah, and Elimelech, or Paroi, it was very clear, the roles. As they go down, the Gilgulim, it gets blurred, more blurred and blurred and blurred. And it seems that David Amelech was so, not so righteous about his action to take. But once you know what the Ariya Kodesh says behind, who is Bathsheba? What kind of relationship she had with Uria? Did she did they consume their marriage or he could not? And so forth. It's amazing what's behind it. And this gives a different character to the story of Ruth and David Hamelech in Shavuos. Maybe. I don't want to promise anything. Take care. Stop recording.